The manufacturer forgot to give me this O-ring for this side. It's not in the bag. One thing I'll say to you as well to watch out for is when you're changing things like this particular part here, what you should do is make sure you don't get confused as to which one's the old and new. Very easy to do stuff like that, especially if you're swapping parts over. Thankfully, this one's got the date on it. Say so the 17th week, 25th year, and the one over there is different. In my O-ring set, I couldn't find one which was quite the right size. I found one that was the right sort of circumference, but too thick. So I've used the same one, I took it out, tried to buff it up. Let's hope it's good. This has got four connections. One, two, three, and four. So um, gonna, it might be, it could have been leaking from one of these um, gaskets here. So when I change it all, I'm gonna tightness test it and see if that stops the leak. <coughs> the other gas valve could have been bypassing. We'll, we won't know until we test it in a moment. Okay, we've got it back in place and we've got the mini washer for the top and the big washer for the bottom. So far, this is taking me about just over an hour. I'm um, going to tighten it all up. When I finish this now, some would say, oh, the gas valve, that shouldn't take too long to change. Well, they have got to change it. Then I have to do my combustion checks. And then, because this boiler wasn't serviced, it was not working. Well, should I say it had a leak? I had to isolate it, so I need to do that as well. So this job could take a total of about three, four hours. Let's see. Okay, so I did the bottom connection down there and then not completely, not fully tight because I want to be at play on the top connection. So I've tightened them both up by hand and um, not cross threaded them. The gaskets are there. Sometimes people put a bit of um, gas seal on them to hold them in place, but I haven't. I find that breaks it down. I've got this on now, I'm going to start tightening them up and then I can move on to the next bit and put these connections back on. I like this. I like the saying lefty loosey righty tight, but it doesn't work in every situation. So I always have to remember with the thread here, if I'm the thread there and I'm going, I'm the back now and I'm getting onto something, for instance, downwards, I know that I need to be going clockwise to tighten up. So that's the same as that. And another thing I learned is when I've got that one over there, I know obviously I need to go clockwise. So I'm just imagining I'm the back nut and I'm going onto something and I obviously need to go clockwise. That's how I remember the way I'm going. Because if I'm at this angle here, how am I going to remember lefty loosey, righty tighty? Maybe I can, but oh, it's a bit awkward for me. I just have to remember I'm the back nut.